my channel so today I have a makeup tutorial for you guys on this look right here you guys really wanted to see a look like this so here it is it's perfect for like summer and like it's just really bronzy and glowy this is also perfect for prom I've been getting so many video requests for prom makeup looks so this will be officially my first one for this year I basically wanted to incorporate like the summer bronzy theme into like a prom makeup look so yeah, um, if you guys want to see a prom makeup look on my sister, because you guys really loved her prom look last year, um, let me know in the comments below so I could do like a different look on her. And let me know what other prom looks you want to see, like what colours and stuff. Um, but anyways, I'm going to stop rambling because I feel like I always ramble in the intro. Um, we'll just jump straight into this video and I hope you guys like it. So I already have my brows done and all the products will be linked in the info box as always. Then for moisturiser I'm using the Bobbi Brown uh, Extra Repair Moisturiser with SPF 25. And um, Once I'm done with that I'm going to colour correct with the MAC Correct and Conceal Duo and I'm using the, what's the shade again, uh, Ochre, the Ochre shade. And I'm just blending this around my mouth area. Now onto my eyes, I'm going to grab the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Tan Sand. This concealer is by far my most favourite concealer. It's definitely been the Urban Decay Naked Skin one and I love to use it as my eyeshadow primer. Um, and then for shadow, I'm going to set that concealer in with Soft Peach in from the Anastasia Modern, not the Modern Renaissance, the Shadow Couture Palette, but that's a limited edition, but you can get the shadows individually from the Anastasia website. Next, I'm going to be using this ColourPop Pressed Eyeshadow in Top Notch. These shadows are so freaking pigmented, like you guys don't even know. Um, but I'm just blending that into the crease and then I'm going to grab the shade Fudge from the Anastasia palette and use this underneath top notch and you want to create this gradient between the two so try not to cover top notch but keep fudge underneath it and I did use the first brush that I used with top notch to blend out the edges as well but I'm really using windshield wiper motions to bring this as kind of like a halo eye effect um, so you want to bring it in the inner corner and the outer corner as well. The brushes that I'm using are actually from Amazon brush sets and most of them are linked in the info box if you guys want to check those out. I don't know why I can never speak when I do voiceovers, I'm so sorry guys. Um, but this next eyeshadow is again another Colourpop pressed eyeshadow and this is called High Strung and oh, I freaking love it. Um, I did wet it with some Smashbox primer water and kind of pressed it in the centre and I like to use my finger to kind of fade out the edges so like the centre shadow fades in with the brown and the brown crease colours um, and I also did grab Colourpop Amaze uh, just to like really make that centre colour really pop and I just pressed that in with my finger then for eyeliner I'm using the Maybelline Master Precise Skinny Gel Eyeliner in Black just to create a really nice smoky eyeliner I did kind of pull my eye because this is a cre crayon kind of thing so it's harder to do the eyeliner so if you pull your eye it's a bit easier and I did use some Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow in Noir uh, right on top of that just to deepen that out and smoke it out a bit more I did curl my lashes and apply some Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara and then I'm going to be using some Classy Lashes UK and the, it's their new 3D Mink ones the name will be written in the info box and I am used this Revlon glue, glue which is actually pretty good I have to say like thanks P from Skin Face Beauty like she's so good at recommending good products but it's still on and I've been wearing it for like 8 hours now so I'll let you guys know if I can take it off properly because that's more important as well um but onto foundation i'm going to stop rambling um i'm using the makeup forever ultra hd foundation and this is in the shade y445 and i'm using the sigma 3d hd kabuki brush and i've been reaching out for this brush a lot it's actually really fun it sounds so weird but it's actually really fun and satisfying when i blend my foundation with this brush and when i go over my color corrector around my mouth area i do use patting motions because I don't want to move the colour corrector. So once I'm done with my foundation I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer again in Tan San and just applying this under my eyes and I'm going to use my Beauty Blender to blend that all out and I wanted to keep the outer bit of the eyeshadow quite smoky so I didn't make, make the line too sharp I just brought it up a bit. 
Um, and yeah, after the after I'm done blending, I'm gonna use the Benai Banana Powder just to set that in place. And I believe this is the M504 brush from Morphe. It's like my favorite brush to set my under eye for some reason, even though it's so small. But I just really like to use it. And as you can see, I don't even use that much powder to set my under eye, and it's been working really well. Like it really brightens your under eye. I did the ex exact same thing for my other eye and then I also did grab some powder and set my around my mouth area as well just to make sure that there's no smile lines or any crap like that. You guys know I hate my freaking smile lines. Um, next up I'm going to be using top notch again and I'm going to re be smoking this out on my lower lash line and yeah you really want to go all out. I feel like the more you smoke it out the more this looks looks so good. Um, and then I also did grab fudge again with a tiny brush and went closer to the lash line and smoked that out a bit. And I also did go in with Noir from the Anastasia Shadow Couture palette and really like smoked it out again. Uh, Anastasia Sh uh, Beverly Hills shadow in Noir is like the best black eyeshadow I've ever tried. It's so so good um, and I'm always using it and I hit pan on it already so I definitely recommend that eyeshadow. But as you can see here, I'm really like smoking it out and really trying to bring that black and the brown right close to my lash line so it kind of creates a gradient effect. And then I'm using some of the Maybelline Skinny Precise Liner again on my lower waterline. Then for contouring, I'm using the Makeup Revolution Ultra Contour Palette and I'm just going to be using this to contour like my cheeks. Um, there is a new one that I just ordered, like it, there's a darker version, so I can't wait to try it for you guys. I'm literally so excited to get my hands on it. Um, but yeah. After that, I'm going to use the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark Deep just to add more color to my skin and use it as a blush as well. Um, but yeah, because this is like a sun-kissed bronzy kind of look, I really wanted to bronze my face a lot and this MAC palette is like one of my favorites. Then on to highlighter, I'm using the New Look Baked Bronze Powder in Golden Glow. This highlighter is so good and so affordable, I definitely recommend it. It just gives such a nice glow and there's so many shades as well so actually there's not a lot of shades but I think there's like three but that can cater to all skin tones I feel like. Um, now onto my lips, I'm using the Kylie Jenner Liquid Lipstick in Brown Sugar. I feel like I thought that a nude lip would go with this look i'm so sorry if i sound so stupid while talking i feel like i don't want to keep cutting i just want to just talk throughout this video you know but yeah i'm just applying this liquid lipstick on my lip it's just such a nice brown color and then i'm just applying some mascara on my lower lashes and i set my whole face with my smashbox primer water and that's it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give a thumbs up if you did let me know what you think in the comments below Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!